Hello everyone, my name is Erika and uh, today we will be seeing how to create a little uh, PNG tuber like the one that we're seeing here that reacts uh, to my voice. As always, uh, you should be able to find uh, the link to the material for today in the description of the video if you're watching our recording of this. Before we do this complex version, I will show you how to create a simplified version of these, this megaphone, as you see, ah, and it has basically two animations. I'll uh, try to make a simple version for artists. If you're a coder, please pretend that this code does not exist because it was uh, hacked from the OWL example. It has a volume control, but it's not an official version that is released by Esoteric Software, okay? This is meant more for artists, uh, simpler people, and I'll try to explain it for you because I think that for artists that's interesting and something you might want to do. We'll start first by importing the PSD that I included in the folder that it's called uh, Megaphone. It should open import PSD. This is on Windows. If you're on Mac, you have to instead go to Spine, import PSD, and then this thing opens. Is this the right one? Yeah. Okay. Then I want it to export to the PSD path because that's great. And then I'll just import that. Let's import. Yes, I know, I already had those images. There it exports. That's my megaphone. And we have the Twitch version. Then I'll open the other version, the one that has finished. There it is. Okay, so we can see the finished structure, how it's gonna look like. As you see, it's super simple. It has literally two bones. One is for scaling, one is to hold everything. So I could have the animations and then we just need to have these three animations. Idle, volume max, volume minimum. Volume minimum looks like this and volume maximum looks like this. And then I also added physics because physics look awesome. And uh, we also have an idle animation where nothing happens. So it cannot get simpler than this. Now let's create this from scratch instead. Let's go to megaphone twitch to create the first bone. We're gonna select the root. We are in setup mode. I'm using the latest Spine Pro beta version. I think it can also work with Spine Essential. In that case, the meshes won't work, but you can still get the same effects anyway. So we'll create the first bone. I'll hold the control, which is command on Mac, and select the image here. Click and drag more or less in the middle like this to create the first bone. Then I'll select these in the middle and I'll create another bone here. I'll actually create also another one, should be the parent, so I'll parent this here and I'll parent this here. So now the little middle circle is gonna be a child of the other one. And then if I don't like the fact that they are not, like they're not following the perspective. So if I try to scale them non-uniformly, it's not gonna look great. So I'm going to select these bones enable images compensation which is down here and then i can set the rotation in world axis to zero so it's pointing like this don't forget to remove bones and images compensation after doing this maybe we'll also parent this one so the handle parent it here and the megaphone body actually the middle base okay we're gonna parent this to the little middle circle so it's there and follows everything as it should we are going to create the mesh structure, new mesh, then we'll edit the mesh, edit mesh. We create it by choosing new. Uh, let's remove the dimming because it becomes too dark. And then we're going to create here a vertex, another vertex. See how I'm basically creating a section for this part that is going to distort. Then I go straight down like this. I could probably add another one here. Then I could stop here so I have the structure as I need it or I could just go down like this and now I have like the simplest mesh possible. If I want to get some perspective on this the easiest thing that we can do is let's look where the light and dark is and here I painted some nice shadows so that should be easy enough. Okay I'm just gonna be doing this and this. Mm, maybe since it's curved I could do this 
and this clicking and dragging will create a golden line and that golden line lets me the user define the lines that spine cannot cross so it's possible that this will work as is or i may need to add another vertex here and another one here but for now i'll try to go without them now let's bind it to this bone and the parent bone of this circling part here then let's go in animate mode we want to achieve the perspective effect by scaling this middle circle since this is basically a traditional perspective effect that we're gonna be doing i'll uh, create my usual test animation that consists in moving first the image this way so see now it's melting and uh, i want it to be a looping animation so in the middle of this i'm gonna be doing this then i'm gonna be moving it up then i'm gonna be moving it down we have to find the parts that are closest to us which is this front circle here and we're gonna apply 100% of the megaphone we're gonna select these two and we're gonna apply an in-between okay 50 50 was fine maybe we can even get this to be following a little okay and uh, that's how you get perspective like boom very quickly maybe we get these two to be slightly less influenced so we get more of the perspective going now we notice that the bottom here is not following so let's create a mesh for that too and since it basically has a side and another side here we're gonna separate those two sides and call it a day let's generate then i'll modify i'll remove these yeah okay that worked then i'm gonna bind it here and again to the middle circle here and then i'm gonna go in animate mode apply the weights until it seems like it's attached and then i'm gonna push this part a little bit more to create a stronger perspective effect okay maybe this one specifically a tad more now we're gonna create an idol this is because in the owl animation we had an idol uh, face up face down face left and right we're gonna have something similar but we still want to have an idol to reset the animation to okay so let's create volume max and uh, for that we're gonna be doing something super straightforward which is just getting middle circle to scale up like this and then maybe we get it also closer so it gets a little bit of that nice perspective going we're gonna rotate a little bit this up so when it speaks it's also doing this effect here maybe for the middle middle circle i'm gonna scale this up a little bit more so it creates more of a cartoony effect okay so these are all of our keys that's not many is it now we're gonna create a new animation and call it volume minimum I'm gonna paste this here the keys from volume max and then i'm gonna move back to the frame zero and press the key here at the beginning so it creates the missing keys for me so i don't have to go and uh, try to remember what i keyed etc all right that's great let's delete these extra keys since i don't need them anymore and uh, i guess i'm gonna paste the same keys inside idle and save i'll rename this to megaphone twitch so that we have a nice example that's gonna be using these with the different names it could be already finished like this but as the very last touch i think i'm also gonna add on these three bones physics so i'm gonna create physics constraints for all of them and now when it switches it's doing this which is really nice i like how it bounces that's it we're ready to export let's go spine export and it's basically the binary export that we're gonna be working on checking non-essential will allow you to re-import inside spine otherwise it's not necessary then in the packing settings basically we leave everything as is if we want it tighter we could have polygons everything else I i'm not gonna be changing that all right and then we are going to export back attachment single atlas yeah it's fine basically i'm not changing anything here let's export there okay so you should see the file as uh, i have it in here this first version is the humble version that is using we see it here spine webgl and it's basically the owl example code where we just deleted a couple of lines in here and uh, we got it to work anyway so if i clap my hands instead of talking see it's still uh, 
talking even though i'm just making sounds i tried you have to try to use the music and have her sing to music it's super fun so we saw that this code is a very simple one that just reacts to the sounds how are we going to get this to work uh, the lines that you have to check for are these where we specify the animations this zero here corresponds to the track of the animation just like when we are in spine and we open the preview view and there are various tracks this corresponds to track zero so in, in case you need uh, like a visual representation of what is happening that's where the idol is and it's also gonna be useful if we have our chibis and we want to have like the chibi breathing other than like kind of speaking so we kind of leave it in there so volume max and min are the two tracks that are gonna control what happens when one is speaking loudly or in silence all of these need to have the same things keyed otherwise your character will explode we have to make sure that it matches our assets in the assets folder that we have there so megaphone is called megaphone twitch and then we have the megaphone twitch atlas megaphone twitch png megaphone twitch scale when you're here you have to add it megaphone twitch here then here then here and then here okay so wherever it requires the assets so i could have just searched for these four instances let's save i'll upload this on my web space there it is it's working there now you notice that it's not reacting to my voice why because i have to allow the microphone so let me refresh that's my microphone i'm gonna allow it and now it reacts to the voice that's perfect now we are going to see instead a more complex version that uses the mouse that uses uh, our little character and i'm going to show you on that second one how to get that to work